Pin my setup episode number 237, recorded live on June 25th, 2017. My name is Matt Philly. You can find me on Twitter. I'm at Philly, and that is Thomas Philly. Producer Tom, how you doing today? Doing great. Doing great. Go check him out at Thomas Philly on Twitter. Hey, if you want to watch our Friday stream, which went really well, it's just another episode of Pin My Setup, except the stream is only for Patreon supporters and Twitch subscribers, which means, yes, technically you can watch it for free if you use your Twitch Prime subscription on us every 30 days, you get access to the stream. So if you want to check that out, link to the Patreon is down below. Link to our Twitch is down below. We stream this live every Sunday and Tuesday, uh, Wednesday now. Yeah, we always keep changing the days. <laughs> Sunday and Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern time, we're always live. But on Fridays, we do a special Patreon Twitch subscriber only stream which changes time based on what people vote for. So yes. there you go. Go check it out. Link down below. Uh, we are booked to like two, uh, three, <laughs> 55. 55. I don't even know anymore. Uh, but we're moving through the queue quick, and everybody will be on, but we are getting the active participants, I guess you could say, on sooner rather than later. So that's exciting. And then, of course, setupaddicts.com, 32, 33,000 people, something like that. Uh, and then our Discord, discord.gg slash Matt. And there we go. So, yeah, let's not waste any more time hopping into the first set of the day. Submitted by Mason. He's 14. He's set up for gaming in his YouTube channel, which is X-Y-L-O. Xylo. Xylo. Right? Xylo. Uh, so this setup, I feel... I feel like we've seen it. Is yeah. it just me? Yeah, it seems like one of those setups that has the shelving above, and then like it's in this corner yeah, with the window. But and it has a unique desk because it looks custom built. I feel like we've seen this exact one though before, and it's like driving me insane. But I looked it up and I couldn't find another email from. Him, so I, I don't know. I, I guess I, whatever. Anyway, so uh, this setup is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, so. First off, the the monitors I don't think really make a lot of sense. The the current quote unquote primary, which isn't necessarily dead center, so on and so forth. Um, I think you could probably get away with not having that at all, or maybe putting that to the left side or something like that, and just you know keep it nice and simple with the TV front and center, and that would probably work a lot nicer. Um, you know, having the Gorilla Pod and the camera right there. I mean, that's obviously more for show than anything, and it's yeah, I would just not put that there. Um, the speakers, you know, the left one's kind of like hell, but then the right one's just like what up. <laughs> so uh, you know, moving the one monitor, choosing just one display is going to help with putting the speakers in a better position. And then as far as the cable management in the next photo. It's not awful. It really isn't. It's just kind of a little like swoopy swoop. So uh, for me, I would kind of like to see a little more management. Yes, it's not laying on the ground, which is good, but uh, that's not really management. So let's see a little bit more work going into that, uh, and that'll that'll work nicely. And of course, this is just like a custom built desk here. The tabletop's really thin. There's not a lot going on for it. So that's a little depressing, but at least you got some support uh, from the legs underneath. I think you should have at least built it so that the depth was a little bit deeper, I guess. Yeah. Uh, especially if this is custom. You know, the left side with the jelly belly and the G fuel, <laughs> you know, that's just kind of overkill. I definitely, you know, out of sight, out of mind is not working too much because of that. So clean that up a little bit. The shelves above, they're not centered to the desk, which is driving me insane. Um, and it's, I mean, there's a lot on there. So I would also probably clean that up just a little bit. Uh, it's like a lot of random stuff that doesn't usually look amazing on shelves. Chris Angel. Oh my god. That's Chris Angel. <laughs> so, also the poster like that's fine. Like, you know, the little things like that, but center the the shelves, maybe even if you feel like it, get a deeper desk, really make it work for for your uh your room because if this is a custom built desk, why did you do this? And you're like, "Damn, I wish I had a bigger desk." Yeah. It's like, uh, you're the one that built it." <laughs> so, uh yeah, and then also, again, like I said before, maybe a thicker tabletop is going to be uh, something that's beneficial for you as well. And then, of course, don't have, like, the side piece to the desk. Like, make it all one big piece because, I mean, yeah, anyways. Uh, so, hey, anything you want to say about it, T? Nope. All right, well, then we're going to the next setup. Some guy, Tim, he's 16. You set up for video and photo editing plus gaming. Whew. Okay, so this one's really interesting to me. I... I, I kind of like certain parts of it, but for the most part, I'm just like, nah, blah, blah. And, and I'll explain why. So, in this first photo, the left side, oh my god, that's a lot of shit. Um, you should probably condense just a little bit. 
I mean, I see like you have your little tin cans for your uh, scissors and shit like that, but come on, you got to condense that. That's just overkill. Uh, not a huge fan of that. The other thing is the sound uh, studio monitors. I mean, really, I don't think they're in the best spot. Like the left one, you kind of didn't even see because there's so much in that corner. It's like hidden. So um, I think it's hard with the the kind of desk that you have to really put these in a good spot because there's not a lot of room. Um, normally you would have a decent amount of space so you could properly space them out and angle them in. But here it's kind of like that's the only spot you could put it without putting it right up against the monitor, which wouldn't be ideal. So it's fine. I just think it really sucks to have these awesome studio monitors that are like not even really being shown off, not really being utilized to their full potential. Now, in addition to that, the second photo, one thing that really, well, two things really that kind of irritated me. I guess I'll say the little thing first, the PC being right there. I get it that that's like, you know, what you want to do. It looks like you just put a piece of whatever on top of it. It's not actually part of the desk, but I would at least put that in the back part under that little desk because, uh, or a little shelf that's right up against your leg, man. And man, this little bird's going to get shot in, the throat <laughs> in a second, but, um, that's like right up against your, your freaking leg. That's not ideal at all. Uh, and of course he has duct tape in the back for the cable. Stuff like that doesn't matter. You know, whatever. He's high in the cable. You do it how you want to do it. But that right side with all the uh, power strips and stuff, my God, if that shit catches fire, <laughs> you're done. You're done. So just. I like how he, he labeled it. Like desktop. Yeah, but at the same. Salt it. Like, yeah. Oh, the Hoppestoffefra. <laughs> uh, honestly, though, God damn. That's like. That's a fire hazard. I mean, there's not even a lot of airflow in there. So it's just kind of like. All put together, not a big fan of that. So I think that also looks worse than it should because it's fully exposed. It's not like it's behind, you know, some sort of little shelf or whatever. It's literally just in front of everybody. So not a huge fan of that um, at all. I don't think that's really safe. I, I just I'm not a huge fan of that. So in the previous photo here, right there, yeah, um, the shelf uh, too much there. Um, it's not the end of the world, but I just think. The display of everything, it makes it look so cramped and crowded when really it's not that bad, you know? Um, yeah, I just think there's too much shit on the shelf, on the desk, all over the place. Putting the router and the modem and whatever on the wall, putting more power strips over there. I mean, please don't tell me these are all coming out of one outlet. You know, he has literally one outlet and he's like, I got 17 power strips and they're all labeled. That's good. It's like, okay, they're labeled, but when they explode... Is that really going to matter? And I know there's going to be like electricians who are like, actually, I don't get the blood. I'll call it the, the, the fire. <laughs> like, don't even know what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> and then, of course, the theme, it, it, it's arguable that, you know, Apple's a theme. Look at that. Even though he's not using Apple. Screw Apple. Apple. Yeah. Like, look, he's not using Apple on his computer, but Apple is his theme. You see what I'm saying, dog? Yeah. So, hey. Hey, I don't know. I like that mouse pad, though. It's very unique. Yeah, but you can I, I barely even move the damn mouse. Yeah, I don't even know if it's an actual mouse pad or he's just using like a something. I don't even know what that would be, but it just seems like a weird mouse pad. He's got a lot of shelves, I mean, drawers, but he doesn't even use them. I mean, who knows? He probably has more power strips within every single drawer. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's just, it's, ah, oh, God, I don't know. A lot of potential, but. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay, you ready for the next setup? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, John, 13, you set up for gaming and learning how to code. His theme, what do you think his theme is? Art. <laughs> no, it's sea and beach. How could you not tell, Tom? God, look at the... You tell me you looked at this, you didn't get sea and beach? The only thing I can say is like the coral lamp. <laughs> yeah. Is that, that is that a part of the lamp? Uh, or is it in front of the lamp? I think it's part of the lamp. Well, maybe it's not. I don't know. I can't. That's like an optical illusion, dude. But you're doing it wrong. Um, yeah, John. No, <laughs> I I didn't get C and Beach at all. If anything, I got you know, corner of a hotel room. Yeah. You know, the the lamp. I don't know if I really like that there. You know, I think that it's like my. My symmetrical senses are tingling. They're, I think it's fine with lamps. Like, you're not supposed to have two lamps. There's yeah. not enough room on your desk to do that. I get that. that. That's what I was going to say. Just put it on a separate... Like, for instance, what I would normally recommend is getting, like, a, a drawer or something uh, 
kind of like you know a nightstand or a calyx unit from ikea and putting it on there so it's separate from the desk otherwise it just like i don't know it kind of grinds my gears you know what i'm saying yeah i mean i guess it's not really yeah, tom huge. really disagrees with almost everything i say <laughs> on the show <laughs> i just, think the cable i know you can say the yeah. cables the cables are fine the, the, <laughs> see, like, every time I, I look for him to just confirm i have to be he, devil's advocate like, yeah. otherwise otherwise everybody sees one point and i have to give another point so that people have Decisions. I'm like, don't you think the setup shit? He's like, I love this setup. <laughs> this is a great setup. I love the art piece. I don't know why he didn't put that on the wall, which is what it's That's supposed to be. That's one of the biggest things I was going to say. What's above the setup? And the one thing I don't like about that lamp is it makes it look like the lampshade is mounted to the wall, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It looks like it like cuts off and it's just like against the wall. That's why I don't like that. It's not... Mm, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, but definitely mounting that piece would make way more sense. Uh, it just doesn't seem like... How old is he? I, 13. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a 13-year-old set. Yeah, his looks mom's like, like a, guess what, bitch? Looks like, seeing <laughs> beach is your thing. <laughs> it looks like a, like an older guy's like work setup when he comes home or whatever. Yeah, I, I don't know how to feel. It does look like it's in a hotel lobby or something like that. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, of course, like Tom said, the cables and the microphone. My God, that is the size of like my pinky. Of course, I have fat fingers, but still, I mean, <laughs> that is like... It, again, we've made a joke about this. A few episodes ago, what are you recording your heartbeat? You know, sending yeah. it to your cardiac, uh, cardiac, cardiac, car- cardiologist, cardiologist, cardiac. Yeah, I have a cardiac doctor, dude. And I just and realized that he does have some, um, some seashells in that little oh, thing. Sally sells seashells by the, by the seashore. seashore yeah. oh, John sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, we have the leaning teller of Pisa. I mean, right? that's cool. That's it. That's all I have you to say. You know what I would it. do? That right side specifically, I would just kind of push it and then watch it go into the garbage kit. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny, Tom? Yeah, the setup itself is very straightforward, though. It's nothing like, oh my god, your usability is off. It's just the only the microphone is the only problem. Yeah. I think everything else is fine. You just really need to add things around your setup to make it more you, John. I need to see you, John. Yeah, John. What the hell, John? John, you need to step your game up, John. John. It's like really creepy when you can say, John. What do you want, John? Uh, All right, you know what? Let's just hop into the next setup. Now, do you remember how, not John, but the guy before that was Tim? Tim, yeah. This guy's Tim. There's two Tims, but this Tim's 15, and he uses setup for graphic design and video editing, and my God, what (laughs) the? Okay, I'm not going to lie. I saw the first photo, and I didn't even think, like, I thought underneath the keyboard tray, I'm like, yeah, you know, that's open, lay room, whatever. And I just looked at it, I'm like, oh, it's interesting. It's a lot, a lot of old, weird shit. Uh, it's like literally wool, and I don't know, it makes me feel weird. And then I go to the next photo, I'm like, no. Oh, like, no. <laughs> what the? F- Dude. Dude. He's obviously sponsored by Arizona. Like, it's yeah. obvious. Arizona off tea. I mean, that's uh, what I drink when I drink iced tea. This is like really annoying because let's just use a bit of imagination right see how the drawer is out the middle drawer and that's what's holding up the tray that has the keyboard and mouse unless he glued it or he screwed it in which i'm not seeing anything like that um that means that's not fully balanced unless that under drawer is made of titanium so yeah, drawers come out, you know that, right? <laughs> what? And it's like drawers come out, like, yeah. it, like it's not. It, I thought you were going against me. I'm no, like, no. What the hell, dude. No. Uh, so think about this. You're on there. You're like scooby dooby doo. You know where are you typing away? That shit's got to be rocking back and forth. He's probably knocked it off like 37 times. That just doesn't make sense. That doesn't make. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I'm having a hard time with that. Now, the. Other things, I just got a whole weird vibe from this dude. He's got like glitter walls, some very fascinating artwork, which looks like it's on like cardboard paper or something. Uh, and then to the left, he's growing some cannabis or something, dude. I'm, I don't know. He loves guy. plants. He's just, yeah, he's a plant guy. Tim the plant guy. <laughs> he's like, yo, what up, guys? My name's Tim and I love plants. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't know. Ready? I got, Run down everything that's wrong with the setup. Go. Okay, can I just point? Yeah. The whole thing. The whole thing, okay. <laughs> no, it's it, it sucks because I get it, you know. This is this is your setup. You got Is that where you get your clothes from? I just want to know. You're like, all right, yeah, just finish this email. I got to take a shower. Let me just get my clothes out for the day. Yeah, oh, it's right here. All right, let's get it. Um 
ah, man, there's a lot. There's like the whole workout section to the right side, which is just overflowing with stuff. You know, obviously usability is not good. You're using these speakers that should just be thrown off a bridge and explode into a million pieces. You have the 4x3 monitor, which he did say he wanted to get rid of that monitor and get two 4x3 monitors to go next to his Dell. So I don't, I don't know what's going on there. And like, you know, the Arizona thing, whatever, that's cute. Call it a day. Bada bing, bada boom. I don't really have much else to say about this, and I'm not trying to be mean, Tim, but I am. So have a nice day, right? No, I'm not mean. Just get a desk. Get a desk. I mean, like, that'll solve most of your problems, if I'm being real. And Just, Tom's always real. And I'm always real. I like the wall. I like this. I like, because I'm pretty Ooh. sure he did that. Yeah, see, this is why I don't like Tom. <laughs> <laughs> He's too nice. Because it's different from everybody else. I you do think like every, the, I like the wall art. art. Like, yeah. that's cool, but I don't like the walls. I that's think it's a weird the combination. Plants. Yeah. Oh, well, that's too, I guess. The I'm glitter here. comes off. The plants are like, oh, hell. I don't hell. think it's glitter. I don't, I don't, it's glitter. It's, it's pebble, like, scratch. Like, you know what sucks kind of for him? He literally, every day of his life, wakes up with glitter in his <laughs> mouth. Ever since he painted the walls. Anyways. I uh, feel like this isn't an office. Like, I don't even think this is his room. I, I don't know. Well, no, that looks like a bed in the bottom left corner. No, nah, it looks like a Shut chair, up, like one of those fold-out chairs. Stop being too smart, okay? Okay. I like, <laughs> I like when you are just agreeing with me, and it makes me feel better about myself. Yeah. Um, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Big, big truck. Big truck. <laughs> uh, let's go to Santa Claus' setup. 16. The goal for this setup is to make everything look like magic. Hence the floating desk. Oh, that, that's not floating. Oh, you ruined you, it. You just ruined it, Tom, by showing that photo. <laughs> Should I put it in? <laughs> Go back real quick. Ooh, it's floating. Yeah, no, it's not. No, it's not. Where's Chris Angel, huh? Is Chris that Angel. how Chris Angel floats? You yeah. should have that in your setup. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, so that, technically, if you're going for everything looking like magic, this should have been the setup with is Chris that Angel. That's Chris Angel. That's Chris Angel. Yeah. That's not offensive, what I just said. Uh, so, here is the thing, okay? Really, his name's Klaus, not Santa Claus. Or Klaus? Oh, it's Klaus. I mean, that's, oh, that's Klaus, how you doing today, Klaus? That's if you're fancy. Yeah. Oh, it's Klaus. Klaus. <laughs> Klaus has an E, I believe. Klaus. Um, anyway, so, this setup, as much as I want to say it's amazing, it's not. Um, I'm going to say it's not. Um, of course... You throw together Audio Engine A2 Plus with an ultra wide and some nice wireless peripherals and a brand new Mac. That shit's fire. <laughs> that shit is literal. Fi oh God! Turn it off. It's Turn fire. it off. It's it's fire. But um, here's the thing. Let's be honest. No. And the reason I say that, I love it. It's clean. The IKEA countertop is amazing. It really is. But it's just lacking substance in, like, everything. If you're going for super minimalistic, I'm talking extreme minimalism, this is it. Because that's, like, really, you, you got, like, nothing going on, man. And if you're going for magic, I feel like there's so much more you could have done. And I'm not saying, like... He's not going for magic. Did no, he say he, he was going for magic? I swear to God, he said that in his email. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, but he literally said he wanted to make it look like everything was, like... I don't magic. think he's going for like a magic thing. Well, I, obviously not some fucking bunny in a hat thing. I'm talking like he has like a like a magic hat and Well, know, here's the thing. The stuff. problem with the floating desk is you can't mount anything to the underside of it. So you'd have to actually mount things to the wall. So what I would recommend is mounting the the monitor to make it look like it's floating cuz apparently that's what he's going for. Uh Mr. Klaus. Uh and then of course you could even mount the speakers to the wall, but I think they're fine like that. You know, not everything needs to be levitating. Especially at speaker stands, you know, it looks Yeah, nice. the isolation pads are nice. And then the the Mac should be on a dock of sorts so that the the singular... Sing, I just was going to say single, and then I decided to say singular, and I sounded like I was stupid, um, which I always sound like. But the singular port, you know, the, that whole dongle fiasco is cool. You did a good job with it, right? But... You know, I would put something, like, for the Mac to, to sit on, like a docking station or something would look a lot nicer. Um, and then, of course, I'd probably get... Actually, no, that, that mouse pad looks pretty good like that. That's pretty good. Uh, you know, even the iPhone dock looks pretty nice. If you really wanted to go crazy, like, no wires or anything like that, dude, then uh, drill, like, the super smallest little hole ever into the desk, <laughs> and then it looks like there's no cable. You know, I feel like that would have been great. Um... But for the most part, I mean, this setup, it scored great. It did a great job. But is it really, like, the best setup in the world? No, it's not. I feel like it's kind of annoying, too, because it's blocking this corner window that really shouldn't be blocked. You should be having the desk go 
to right where that wall ends, you know? Yeah. And I feel like it's kind of in a weird spot because of that. It shouldn't really technically be back there. So it did get a great score. Um, got a great wire management score, great outside out of mind, usability. It was really theme, and really theme was the only one that he got a, like, a lot of points off for. But it still has a pretty good theme. You know, in the end, of, like at the end of the day, people get so upset about when I talk about theme. They're like, "What if I don't want Scooby Doo figurines on my wall?" <laughs> and it's like, that's fine, but at the same time, it is a part of the show. And, it is. And do you know anything about this guy other than the fact that he likes Buddha? Uh, he likes to be very clean, very minimalistic. Yeah. That's what I'll go for. That's a good takeaway. I like his it. name is Klaus. His name is Klaus. He likes to do. It. He's got the do. Uh, all right, let's go to the next setup. Yeah. I'm, I'm this here. setup is submitted by Gal? Gal? Gil? Gal. Gal? Is it like Gal Gal Bladder? Right? Is it the one is it Wonder Woman? Gal Godot or whatever? Sure. It's just G A L. Yeah. Seventeen. You set up for gaming and some photo editing. Not a lot, just some. Yeah, so don't don't spoil it. Damn it, Tom! I don't know what the third photo was. Will you look at it before the damn show? I don't know. I, I wanted to, like cause I knew they were low quality, but I wanted to show Look at how awesome that is on the hinges. Just like, now you see it. Now you don't. Esther. <laughs> so, like, I just thought that was really cool. It helps with cable management quite a bit. Um, really love the desk here. The desk works perfectly. And aren't you happy that he's got dark walls, really contrasting walls, but then the white um, desk with the black, uh, dark gray underneath? Like, he really... F I know you always hate when it's white on white and yeah. gray on gray, so... I think, didn't you do a great job? Yeah, I love the contrast. I like two-tone walls. I I want to do yeah. that for my setup, but it's like choosing the right colors is always hard, especially if you don't know what desk you're getting and all that. I think he did a great job with how he displayed everything and how everything looks. You know. Yeah, it really is awesome. Um, super, super cool. I, I love that cable management idea. And, I mean, I don't know if this is a custom-built desk or not. It kind of seems like it might be, but at the same time, I don't think so. I can't tell. Probably not. If it is, great job. Impressive, if it isn't, dude. I'm going to go jump off a bridge. Um, but just the hinge idea is really, it's so simple, but damn, that works great. So really cool. Now, the one thing I would say, out of sight, out of mind, now you're probably going to disagree with me. I didn't give it a terrible score. I actually gave it uh, a 7 out of 10. I just think there's a little bit too much going on everywhere. A little uh, too much action. Yeah, the corner definitely has that kind of vibe. It's got yeah. like hard drives and so just a bunch of stuff in that corner. That's like the one thing that's like really doing it for me. Like the M and M's, like that's not necessary, but I don't know what you're using it for. Yeah. You know, like it's it got M and M's, dude. Maybe I lost some M's. Just like M and M's, you know. It's I, I think, but I think it's fine. Like outside of mine's not like terrible, like you said, but yeah, it's it's not awful. I mean, usability, I gave him a great score on because really, you're sitting there using the display. Pretty good. I mean, everything you need is in reach, and it works well, and same with the Mac setup. So I think that's good. Uh, do I necessarily understand the docking station with, uh, yeah, Harman Kardon? So those are, sp it's like a docking station so you can play music and stuff. Do you need all those iPhones right there? Not necessarily. So that's what I mean. I said out of mind is a little bit odd in certain cases, but great nonetheless. Theme is great. I wish I, I included the photo that shows a little bit more of the shelving unit, but it's a lot of cool little knickknacks. Uh, he said he didn't really want to go for like full on Star Wars theme, but he loves Star Wars. He bought so much stuff that it just kind of started to look more like Star Wars um, than anything. But he does have some other things spread in here and there, which is cool. Um, and then, of course, you know, accessories. He's got he's got a lot of stuff. He's got speakers. He's got um, his headphones and he's got, of course, the docking station does help with that. He's got a lot of cool stuff going on. Do you think it's a little underwhelming what he has above the single monitor? Though? I was going to say something about that. Yeah, I like how it matches your LEDs and all that, but I was hoping for something bigger, or maybe you get another one of that size and then something in the middle of that, like, you know, kind of spread it across. Yeah, or two little shelves on both sides that have, like, some of the pop vinyls to free up some of the space on the desk itself. Yeah. Um, I think that would be really you cool. you got a lot of options because the wall space is pretty blank. Yeah, and it's it just looks fresh. It looks new. It looks clean. Um and that's ideal. Maybe some LEDs inside the PC would also look cool. Some red ones or something like that. Um, but, man, it is a really nice setup. Really kudos there. And another setup that I'm happy he showed his... Uh, actually, no, it's an, that's an old camera. That's cool. I was going to say, 
It's a very nice quality photo yeah. for you to have a DSLR on your desk, <laughs> but I realized. Uh, so, really cool setup. I like it. Great cable management. And uh, let's go to the next setup of the day. Submitted by Stefan. Or Steven. Stefan. Stefan. Uh, hey, he is, guess how old? Guess, 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 guess. 16. 48. No, he's 14. Uh, use his right side for gaming and the left side for homework, which I think he was wrong when he said that because that would be the side. Go back. That would be the side for homework. <laughs> and then if you go back and zoom into the other side, that would be the side for gaming. Yeah, obviously. So, I mean, I mean that looks like a gaming PC to me. <laughs> yeah, he's got a punch. Uh, what's that? Oh, the, the binder three-hole yeah, yeah. punch? Yeah. He's like, I'm gaming, but let me shit. just quickly punch in some holes into this shit. So, yeah, I think he got himself a little confused there. Uh, I think he meant the left side for gaming and the right side for homework. So, yeah, I mean, this is a cool cool little setup he's got going on. Do you think this was the best way to handle having two separate workstations? Uh, you know what? It works. That's that's what I say. It's like he has a specific area where he has enough room to put down binders, books, and all that. I like that. But then he's like, it's time to game. I'm going to move over to my other setup. I think I like I like that combination. I mean, it seems very blank, you know, because everything's white and black. But he did a great job usability-wise, you know, separating work and play. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Not uh, the play you think of. Yeah, so I think with this, um, you know, they're fold-out tables, and like Tom said, it's a very blank setup. But, you know, I think this is probably the best way to separate things. And, you know, I, I think it's a little... And this is just me being me. Um, but don't you think, like, the window's there? I wish I wish the desk were the perfect size to fill that whole wall yeah. and also leave the monitors directly mounted in front of the windows. But yeah. Is that okay, I think actually technically the desks are the perfect size. I just realized that's actually a staircase. Right? So like let's think about this. You see left behind the chair that goes deeper. It goes like up. Oh. It goes deeper. So that's the staircase going down. You see what I'm saying? I don't see what you're saying. Do you guys hopefully someone in chat sees like He's up against um Oh the, oh 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 yeah. this, this thing. So you can look over and those are the that's the Wait. staircase. So you walk up and you come up right behind the left chair and you walk into the room. That makes a lot more sense because I was gonna say like it seems a little bit weird. Yeah, it looked like it was just like molding for the underneath the window, but yeah, yeah. you can kind of see it. Yeah. yeah. See over a lot there. of people in chat are like, oh, <laughs> yeah, it, it now it makes more sense to me. I, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of confused at first. I literally S thought like that mat or whatever that's down there. I thought I'm like I'm like that doesn't that's not downstairs. Like what the hell are you yeah. talking about? The the one thing that's a little weird though uh, that still confuses me is why that right wall uh, right window is so close to the to the wall. That just looks like weird craftsmanship right there, right? I mean, it probably it looks normal outside. Well, outside, yeah, but that just looks. I don't it's know, not that, in the wall. It's not Anyways, like in the um, divider. So that's just... I, I don't think that makes sense. But. You're talking about house design. Let's get to the setup. Okay. So, well, yeah, because that, that's a big part of it. I, I was confused because now if you look, the two desks are actually the perfect size um, up against where this, the stairs start. You know? So, like, that's really cool, actually, how that, that worked out. Now, um, I, I think the left side's pretty good. You know, he's got... Headphones. He's got um, a lot of cool accessories. Little, no, actually, I'm not that worried about the BitPhoenix case being close to the edge because it's really not that close to the edge, and it is such a small PC. Um, and I also like with that how it's almost symmetrical to the other side, where the little white storage bin is the PC. You know what I mean? I thought that I was cool, that. and then he put the lamp in the middle. And that's kind of like the separating line, which I really like. I think he did a good job with it. Um, you say the lamp, I say the brisk can. I mean, we, we, yeah, we're both same, right. you know, same thing. So really, it is a great setup. But as Tom said, I'm still not feeling too hot about it because it's so overwhelmingly bright and bland. Well, knowing that the stairs are there, it's probably like an open area that he can't like, I'm going to put my favorite posters and my favorite stuff on here. Like, like, I, don't, I don't know. But guess what, Mom? I don't give it's like a mom, shit. I'm redecorating this landing. I mean, it just it has to happen. Well, I have to. And it doesn't have up. to be like, you know, whatever games he loves on the wall. I'm just saying some color, something that like makes the set of pop. It's so bland. But it's really not. It's it's not the end of the world. I'm just being it's that not. guy. Uh, also, are those gloves for winning games? Um, yes. Those are G gloves or B gloves <laughs> or, or R3 gloves. Interesting. Or R underscore F gloves. Yeah. So, anyways. Um, 
Yeah, someone just said in the chat, even if a family photo was on the wall, that it, it just the idea is to do something to kind of add a little bit of something. I mean, I don't know how to really explain it, but it just looks so bleh right now. Yeah, you think your mom would, you know, add some color to this yeah. area. Or maybe she hates the family. That's good. Yeah. That could be it. Um, so let's go to the final side of the day. So what about Colby's 13? He loves sports. He's going for a purple setup. Do you see it, Tom? I, I see love it. the purple. Look, Look at the purple oh, right there. Oh, it's so see, overwhelming. Is that an L? <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, all right. Let, let's just, we're not going to spend too much time on this. This was his best photo. I, I emailed him back and forth quite a few times, and this was what he was serving. So he'd been waiting for a long time. So we're going to give him what he wants. Um, let's go through his drawers. He's got pencils and stuff, tech plus tools, school, projects, and then Randy? <laughs> Randy? <laughs> what does that say? Uh, random. Random. Oh, yo, yes, 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 yes. So I'm not sure where the purple is. I see it. It's the L. Well, that, but I'm not sure where the rest of the purple is in the rest of the sports, other oh, than <laughs> the pictures of him on the right side with the football and the baseball. But where's the purple? Where's the sports? I think we're missing that. A little bit more cable management would be nice. Um, you know, usability is it's pretty, it's pretty good. I just think maybe some of the stuff behind uh, could be cleaned up a little bit, get a little more usability out of it. I mean... You have some stuff actually on the right side there. Uh, whatever field that is. Is that Cubs? Wrigley Field? Looks like Wrigley Field. Um, that should go up on the wall somewhere. Like, all that stuff should definitely be in a cool little spot. But, yeah, I mean, I guess he just has LEDs and that was it. That yeah. was his setup. So, what do you everybody, want Everybody say? has blue, baby blue walls. Is that because, like, when they're a baby, that's the color everybody... It could be that or I don't know. Um... When Cameron and I shared a room and we wanted to do Star Wars Phantom Menace, we did, uh, for some reason, maybe blue, because it was like the lightsabers, but... It doesn't work like that. Yeah. But yeah, it's like when you have to go for a purple theme, you want to go for a purple theme, it's tough, you know, having baby blue walls and yeah. having too much stuff. You have too much stuff on the desk where it seems really crowded when it's not. And uh, I mean, yeah, just uh, clean up, put the posters on the wall, the canvas posters, just work from there. I mean, that's really all you can do in this small amount of space. Yeah. Someone said, is that the chair under the desk? <laughs> no, I think that's just his footstool. But if that is your chair... It says that's... sports on it. I mean, it's pretty cool. Oh, well, in that case, uh, I'm going to give him 100 for theme. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Uh, all right. Let's go to the scores. Yeah. First setup, Mason, 70. Tim, 68. John, 66. Tim, 64. You see, it all went down by two. It's kind of on purpose. Uh... Klaus, or Klaus, 88. Gal, Gal, Gil, Gal, 90. Stefan, 74. Colby, 68. Colby! <laughs> uh, I hate myself. So, there we go. Gal, Gal, Gil, Gal. Uh, Gal. Walked away with a 90. Sorry for butchering your name. That's going to do it. Make sure you become a Patreon supporter or a Twitch subscriber so you can get access to our Friday streams. But don't worry, we're going to see you on Wednesday. So, uh, see you then. <laughs>